Role-playing games, not just the basis of my lovemaking. The ability to hot swap into a character's leather jerkin and take them from chump change to king of the ring is an unprecedented joy in gaming. Whether it's through a powerful story or a deep and rewarding combat system, RPGs have captured the hearts and minds of gamers all over the world. But with so many time sinks, which ones are the best for you to delve into? Well, the answer is many, and probably would include a lot of Final Fantasies and at least one big mention of Legend of Dragoon. I love Legend of Dragoon. So let's narrow the field a bit and just focus on the last 10 years, although saying that even that's pretty tough. But it's a list I'm willing to make and I want all of you to sound off in the comments about RPGs you think deserve a bit more love. With this in mind, I'm Jules from WhatCulture.com and these are the 10 greatest role-playing games of the last 10 years. Number 10. Bravely Default Bravely Default acts as not only a shiny example of what makes stellar old-school RPGs, but also as a wake-up call to Square Enix who's been systematically trying everything and everything to move their RPGs away from the genre tropes. Everything from its lovely visuals to its deep and fluctuating narrative makes Bravely Default a joy to play, and the fact that it can be done so on the move adds to its value. The battle system uses BP points which allow characters to act multiple times per turn, and it creates a constant battle of risk versus reward which only gets more tense as the fights ramp in difficulty. It's a great entry title to RPGs in general, and sits nicely as an entry point to this list. Number 9. Dragon Age Origins Whilst other entries in the Dragon Age franchise are arguably better looking and possibly less buggy, the original stands, in my opinion, head and shoulders above the rest when it comes to the narrative. Taking your character from regular to Grey Warden with the primary goal to defeat the Darkspawn is monumentally fun and challenging to boot. As you journey across the vast game world, you experience many Bioware traits, massive amounts of questing, enjoyable and memorable characters, and a cheeky bit of bum thrown in for good measure. While looking a little ropey today, if you're looking for a mechanically sound RPG, you could do far worse than this. Number 8. Xenoblade Chronicles X Xenoblade Chronicles X came at a time when the Wii U was aching for something a little deeper and not based around Mario, but unfortunately came near the end of the console's very short lifespan. Now much like the first Xenoblade Chronicles, the artistic design of the world is staggeringly impressive. Alien beasts roam around and make the foreign planet feel so alive, and I found myself becoming more immersed than being sandwiched between the Stay Puffed Man and Margin Boo. Puns, I've got them. There's a huge sense of challenge to this game, and both enemy and partner AI is responsive and forces you to mix up tactics. Outside of battles, the game is deep like insanely deep with enough menus, statuses and stats that would even give Microsoft Excel a raging column on. Well worth a go. Number 7. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky Right, now this is cheating a little as this game technically came out more than 10 years ago, but it wasn't until 2011 that the game was released in English. Trust me though, you'll be much more forgiving of my most heinous of transgressions once you play this game. Taking control of a mercenary for hire, you explore a, you guessed it, vast and varied kingdom kingdom, battling monsters, and uncovering secrets about a dark past. It's a story that has been told before, but it's the quality of the writing that elevates a stock plot to something so emotional and moving. The combat is also something which takes what you expect and slightly twists it, using positioning in the arena to determine which attacks you can use. Effectively, you'll be positioning and figuring out who's up next in order to topple some of the most challenging foes, and it is great fun. Number 6. Dark Souls 3 Now, while there might be a larger debate over which is the best game in the Souls, series, you can't deny that Dark Souls 3 manages to strike a confident line between accessibility and punishing difficulty. I've honestly not encountered anything like it for a while, that a complete newcomer can get to grips with the game quickly, but still be pushed relentlessly to get good. The game is a strategist's dream, analysing enemy timings, dodging around attacks, and striking when the time is right. And if you want even more of a challenge, then the deep and slightly dodgy PvP modes can keep you entertained and enraged for many a dark moon. It's not easy in any any sense though, and the lore is one that is best left for people to piece together for you. But if you delve into it, you'll find a world that is so deep and so rich with story that soon it will pull you under and you'll end up knowing more about Tinder fodder than what's on my phone. Puns, I got them! Number 5. Fallout 3 and Skyrim Yes, I know, in terms of setting, these couldn't be more different, but at its core, both big hitters from Bethesda focus on huge worlds, endless questing, and a genuine sense of awe as you explore these living, breathing environments. You'll spend hours in each doing even the most simplest of tasks, but it's a story that you write, and around every corner you'll find wondrously designed caves, delightful NPCs, and of course, monstrously powerful enemies. For those of you who favour graphics over gameplay, then Fallout 4 might appeal over 3. 
three. But for those looking to get the most out of conversation and variance, then three is the undisputed king. And as for Skyrim, well, if you've not played it by now, and trust me, it's on nearly every f***ing console available, then it is so worth picking up. Just make sure you've got the time to see it through, as both are demanding mistresses. Number four, Persona 5. Did you see how happy this game made Ben when he got it? Ah, I feel like that's reason enough for this to be on this list. That being said, it's a fantastic and utterly beautiful game. I mean, just look at this in motion. It's almost beyond stylish. The narrative as per the norm for Persona games is so well written that you'll fall in love with the characters before the games close. And there's so much content that you'll have more on your plate than what seems achievable at first. Plus, it's kind of given rise to one of our favourite catchphrases in gaming, although recently it might have gotten a bit out of hand. Hello and welcome to Sh** Games. Worst Wang. games ever. I I never seen oh my Jesus, Jesus Christ. Right, Jules, you can't do that anymore. We're going to have to stop this series if you keep doing that every f***ing time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. An episode done. Does my f***ing head in. Oh my God, what are you doing? God. Jesus Christ. Oh. No. You never no. saw it coming. Get off me. Oh. Jules. Jules. It's not funny anymore. You'll never see it coming, Jules. <laughs> Number three, the Mass Effect series. Yep, it's another set of games taking a single entry. Fucking sue me. Let's just accept it, though. The original Mass Effect trilogy, not you, Andromeda, is amazing. I don't care about the hoo-ha with the ending. The overall experience is utterly mesmerizing. Just the sheer scope of the game is enough to draw most players in, making them the star of their own space opera. Building relationships and stomping out galactic threats is an utter joy, even more so when the choices you make roll through the different games. My personal fave is Mass Effect 2 for its darker and more combat-heavy tone, but there's something for everyone. This was a franchise that evolved along with its audience, adding and cutting bits to improve the experience. It's a great series that's easy to pick up and dangerously easy to get hooked on. Number two, Pillars of Eternity. Growing up on games like Diablo and Baldur's Gate, I have a deep love for traditional dungeon crawling RPGs. With ridiculously deep character customization and beautiful writing, this is a game which will wow you with its richness. Pillars of Eternity is a game which pulls no punches and will deck you if you take it lightly. Grinding, item management, and huffing more magical potions than my dates will be your only way of surviving. Being able to pause the game mid-battle to plot and plan is essential and creates a pseudo-turn-based feel. It's basically everything an old-school RPG should be, just polished up to the nines, which in turn gives you the feels up to the tens. And number one, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. As one of the best games I've ever played, I have nothing bad to say about The Witcher 3. I, I don't know how better to sell this game to you. Look at the insane amount of creativity in the enemies, at the insanely deep character progression and the ways in which you can approach combat. It's an epic story that's incredibly detailed and well thought out, and while it might seem ball-bustingly intense at first, you'll find it so personal by the end that it might even move you in ways you weren't expecting. It is not a recommendation to play this, it's an order. And that's our list. Got any other RPGs from the last 10 years which you'd recommend? Well, let me know about them in the comments section below and help me share the love with others. That came out wrong. Then swing by whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. As always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon.